Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is a beer from Crooked Stave. It's actually now in cans. This is VA. So this is a Brett uh, Rustic, Brett Rustic Saison, and they age it in oak barrels and slightly dry hop, 4.2%. So yeah, Crooked Stave doing some really fun stuff. Again, I remember this being in those uh, short, skinny, uh, short little uh, 500 ml bottles. Now we have cans of it. So let's dig into this. Are they 500 ml? They might have been 375. Anyway, you guys post in the comments below. It's those little bottles that the um, Cricket State used to do. And now we finally have them in cans, so really exciting. Uh, beer comes in a light straw color, has a medium to medium minus haze to it. Wonderful, a small bubbled white head to it. Really light and bright white. Let's get the aroma. Mm. So it's immediately uh, a fruitier kind of Brett character. I, I think that's what Chad uh, Jacobson's actually going for. And it's quite tropical. It's, it's pineapple. It has a little bit of like light kind of gingery spice to it. Some of that raw dough, a little bit of funkiness going on. It has a little bit of light kind of stinky sock and almost just like semi clean sock quality to it. So it's not really intensely funky and dirty, but it's like, I don't know. Sometimes they like wash socks and then they're not completely clean. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, a little bit of like raw dough, white sock character. A beautiful fruit character in there as well. Pineapple, a little bit of a tart apple. Like floral elements in there, dancing in there. Really complex nose. Cheers. Oh, wow. So up front, this beer tastes like there's a fruit added to it. There's a distinct kind of like almost prickly pear kind of character uh, on the beer. It might be the combination of hops and the bread character, but... It is quite fruity. It has a light touch of guava, slight tropical, again, prickly pear is the flavor I'm going for. Slightly sweet, a little bit of gummy bear character. Nice and dry. After explosive quality up front, there's actually a little bit of acidity in here. So this beer does have a good amount of acidity. So Brett is not generally an acid producer, but this beer has a light tartness to it. Yeah, I wouldn't call it sour beer, but it's tart beer. And um, it has a beautiful tropical funk to it instead of a really intense, smelly kind of funk that a lot of th uh, people, I think, would associate with, which is like dirty, barnyardy, intense, and almost like, like attic and basement kind of no notes to it. This one's young, fresh, bright. Yeah, it's nice. It's really beautiful and fruity. It has a nice tart quality to it. It's beautifully dry. There's a light, you know, doughy, crackery malt, but it dries away quite quickly. Uh, pretty much not too much to say on the back end. Again, more of those whispers of those uh, fruity qualities. So maybe it's the hops speaking, but beautiful combination of uh, yeast expressiveness, great use of bread. I love that it's so tart and then has complex fruit qualities to it. And this is just a crusher and 4.2%, a beautiful session beer with intense amount of complexity. Wow. As I talk about it more, it almost tastes like a really tiny, watered down, less tart, complex Hill Farmstead farmhouse beer, farmstead beer, whatever he calls them. Fruity bread character, slightly tart, beautifully drinkable. And this one's low ABV. There you go, exactly. Uh, you know, I, you sort of connect the dots and I realize, like, what does this remind me of? Why is this beer so good? Oh, because it reminds me of Hill Farmstead. Um, it's not exactly there, but it has whispers of it. Again, it's, it's just when you make well-crafted uh, Saison slash farmhouse beer, you're, you're, you're going to have those kind of, and, and, and use those specific characteristics. Again, a little bit of wood, a little bit of uh, Brett Funk, a little bit of heart, a little bit of um, fruity quality, a little bit of hopping, blah, blah, blah. You're going to get somewhere uh, close. So absolutely delicious. That's for rating. I wish I bought a full six pack of this. Oh, it's so good. And as I uh, wait more, there's a light kind of minerality, almost like a stone note coming through in the middle. I'm curious if it's water treatment or anything, but then again, I think Colorado is using soft water. But anyway, uh, beer here is getting a 95. Absolutely delicious, 95. This is Crooked Stave VA. This has got to be one of the best session farmhouse beers that I found on the shelf. If anything, I don't even know if that's a style you can generally find on the shelf, but at the price point, the fact that it's accessible, it's canned, 
it is so well executed. Um, what else can I say about it? Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later. <laughs>